hey guys in this video we are going to create the database inside the local host or local server so as you can see we previously we created this uh, diagram so before we add this or create the database let's just define the types uh, the customer ID will be the foreign key from the customer the same thing with the user ID so the total amount will be uh, double let's just increase the width of this one same with amount tendered then here the change the date created so this will be a date time same with the date updated so the ID it will be a primary key or PK so the customer ID would be the PK the name would be a varying character uh, let's just insert another field so let's just do the first name look capture the first name and also the last name then here we are the date updated so the address will be a far char for the contact uh, i think uh, we can use the foreign character so we can input number on email so date created and the date time We're going to uh, let's just increase the uh, with use the date time um, f field so for the sale items the ID will be the primary key and then the invoice ID will be uh, there will be a string and then the product ID so this is a foreign key from the product table so actually the invoice ID let's name this one sales id and this should be a foreign key instead of this string then the quantity will use this one as integer the unit price use the double and the sub total so double date created i'm sorry about that don't be date time same with date updated so here we have the different data types so now let's create in our local host just increase the size so let's click the new and then here let's add the database name so let's use or name it point of sale and then here's the default and click the create so here you can also use sql to create the tables but for now i'm just going to manually add them so first table we have the sales and then let's count how many columns so let's add eight columns here we have the id so check the auto increment that will automatically set that column to the primary key and then here the customer id user id and then the total amount the amount tendered and then here the change and then the date created and date updated so the customer id since let's just use in for both customer and user id so for the total amount select the double and then here let's add the length or value so the 10 would be the the integer part and 2 would be the decimal place so the change and the amount tender will be the same so let's just change the uh, 
long length since that uh, then which is very big to me let's just use six and then this one would be a date time it's the same with the date uh, updated so now let's click the save so the name change to MySQL keywords so hmm, let's just change this color so let's do change amount then here let's click the change and update the name so save so now let's do the customer let's click the new then here let's set the table name to customer so here let's add additional columns so three additional columns so let's add the id so we have the first name the last name then here we have the address contact then the date created and date updated so here let's select date time so for the first name it's a varying character so let's just use 100 length same with address and the contact so for the address is just increase same with the contact and then here the primary key set the AI or auto increment then we save it so next would be the sales item let's create or click the new then here name it sale items then here let's uh, count how many columns let's add additional four columns so here we'll set the ID the sales ID the product ID quantity so unit price subtotal and then the date created and date updated so the same thing these are date time uh, let's change this one so sales ID would be an integer same with the product ID and also the quantity so the unit price will be double so 5 2 for subtotal will show double and then the AI auto increment to make it primary so same so now we have three columns so we have here a foreign key so now this links to our inventory uh, table so as you can see here we have the users and then the products so here uh, in our structure so we are in the customers uh, table let's add a column so the um, sorry so it should be sales table then click on the um, structure and then the relation view so here let's select the column so the customer id is going to connect to the inventory database and inside that table is the users table so we have the user id inventory and then the users table so the user id links to that id in the users table so actually this one this should be inside the point point of sale and then customers table so as you can see here in our diagram so let's save so as you can see here if we click on the structures you can see you see that icons and also below so for the sales items we have the product id and the sales id so here let's select this uh, product id and then this is from the inventory database and then here we have the products and then the id 
So here the foreign key sales ID which database a point of sale and then the table and then the key or the column. So let's uh, review product ID inventory. So let's save. As you can see here they are added and uh, look at the structure as you can see we have that icon basically that's it so we successfully created the database and the tables in our local server